Megan, Head of Product at Easy Agile, and I'm going to walk you through what's new in Easy Agile User Story Map 6.2. So this release is all about giving you more control over what you see on your story map. We learned through user testing in September and October that the visual noise on the story map was a real barrier for users adopting the tool. So we've introduced some improvements off the back of that feedback to try and help you reduce the noise on your story map. So first up, we've introduced the ability to filter on epics and on issues. Um, so we hope that by the ability to do this, you're able to more easily filter and reduce the breadth of your story map and the depth of your story map. So what that might look like in practice is I only want to see the epics um, where you know, the Easy Agile support team is assigned. So you can see I've reduced the breadth of that. I've hidden nine of my epics. If I then want to go onto the issue level, I might want to focus on um, a certain persona. So if you do have Easy Agile personas installed, you'll have these two fields natively available to you. And say, I just want to see the issues where um, I'm looking at my new student persona. And again, I've filtered um, down my issues there. And we've got this count up in the top right as well that tells us um, the number of issues we've hidden. So I can clear that too. The second thing that we've introduced in 6.2.0, which you may have already seen over in the left here, is the ability to filter your issues um, on, by component and assignees. So during our user testing, we were able to identify that a lot of the complicated quick filters our users were creating to reduce the noise on their story map actually included something around components or assignees. So we're hoping by introducing these two fields for you natively in the filters drawer, we're reducing the need for you to have to create those really complicated quick filters. Something else that we've introduced in 6.2.0 is we're incrementing the filter count in the filters button um, in the top nav. And the reason we're doing this is we wanna make it really clear to users when issues are being hidden um, via a filtered, a toggled filter. And you can easily clear those filters in the filters menu as well. So with that being said, we're really keen to hear your feedback. Um, feel free to reach out to us at support at easyagile.com or alternatively via this help button, you can raise a support request here as well. Uh, looking forward to hearing your feedback. We hope you love the release. Uh, we're keen to improve. Thanks.